Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about drawing with oil paint directly with no graphite, no charcoal, no transfer drawing. Just pick up brush and draw on your canvas. Let's do it. If you really are looking for something absolutely with uh, zero imperfections, maybe this type of, of, of approach is not the right for you. If you don't mind though, um, and if you kind of like this, uh, this type of style with lots of brush marks, like lots of drippings and all, it, then you're going to be okay drawing directly with paint. Um, it's it's uh, just a matter of preference. Drawing directly with paint, um, you just have a limited amount of time before it's dry and it can dry quite fast. You never have more than one or two days to work on your drawing. So it's important that you are confident enough that um, you will get the drawing as, as you want it in the first go. Give yourself one day or, or two days, do that in several like parts and say, yeah, I'm gonna get the drawing, I'm gonna take the time to make it as good as possible, and then the, the painting will, will take more time, but the, the, the real painting will take more time. The idea behind drawing with paint is to kind of use the, the pigments of the paint like, like you would use charcoal. The way you remove, the way you erase is kind of similar in a way. So. The main idea of drawing directly with paint, I mean, this way, there are many ways to draw with paint. You can like pick up your, your colors, your, like flash colors, and immediately put them right there. It's, it's much more difficult, I think. So this was done with only one pigment, forget about this one. Uh, this was done with one pigment and mineral spirits. So that's the idea of this technique. But of course, you can just draw with multiple pigments Whatever is going to work fine, really. I'm just talking about this approach with one pigment and a big wash of one pigment with mineral spirits. So the various pigments you can use, of course, uh, raw umber is good for this type of approach because, well, uh, it gives this kind of yellowish, kind of iron oxide color, really cool. Uh, you can mix you want to make it less um, if you want to make it less yellow less warm you can mix raw umber with uh, a little bit of titanium um, not titanium ivory black uh, so this would make it less less yellowish more cool uh, another so this is a um, fast drying so you have one day you have one day and probably at the end of the day it's going to be all dry um burnt umber also like it's going to give a more yellow uh no no a more reddish feeling um a little bit darker than this and um, more on the red side um, if you want you can make some type of of mix of burnt umber and ultramarine blue which is going to give you something closer to black and if you add even more ultramarine it's going to give you something kind of greenish so it can be interesting uh, you can also try if you want burnt sienna and ultramarine blue try mixing the two it's going to give you some nice cool uh, gray like if you make it very neutral you can make something close to gray dark gray if you make it more on the blue side, it's going to give you something kind of greenish. And if you make it more on the on the burnt sienna side, it's going to give you something more orangey. So yeah, can be interesting to check it out. Uh, well, you can use Van Dyke Brown, which is going to give you like some type of gray. That can be a, a good option as well. Uh, raw sienna. Oh, I didn't mention, but. Uh, the, the, the cool thing about a mixture of ultramarine and uh, burnt sienna is that it dries slowly. So this is going to be dry in like two days or maybe, maybe three. So if you want more time, try a mixture of these two. Uh, they usually dry slowly. A cool thing to know. 
Uh, raw Sienna also dries kind of slowish um, and uh, gives something even more yellow than this. Even more yellow than this. Uh, you have a green umber, a green earth, um, greenish umber it's called. Uh, can, like this is very very green so you have to know that. So basically the idea is to start with um, a mixture that is dark, create something as dark as possible on your palette and then you get the, the various uh, graduations of light and dark by diluting it more or making it m less diluted. So the less diluted parts are going to be the darkest and the more diluted parts are going to be the lightest with the canvas showing through. So the way that this, um, this work is, is very similar to charcoal or drawing because you used the whiteness of the canvas to create this um, these various um, gradations of light and dark. So, uh, of course, it's not going to look perfect. So everything here, the transitions are not perfect. You don't mind because you know that you're going to paint it later. Then in that way, it can be fine and it can work in the end. All right, so let's look at some of the techniques that you can use to draw directly with paint. All right, so the very first technique you can use is you take some of your paint, you take some of your pigments. Well, let's take some raw umber because like it's the most commonly used. So you take some of your, your paint and just put a little bit of it. Just a little stack of pigments can go a long way because you're going to dilute it um, extensively. So take some of your solvent like mineral spirits if you use um, wa um, water mixable oils, you can use water or one of the water soluble painting medium and just just put a little bit in your brush. And the first technique, just I don't dip it in too much. I don't need excessive amounts of solvents for this very first techniques. Just a little bit and I can just remove the excess and already it's going to be quite fluid. It's going to be very fluid. I can close it up now. And the very first thing is a wash. That's the very basic thing you can start with. Start with a wash like this if you want. And you can start lifting the lights. And you can start working like this. It could be a great way to work around by first having some kind of mid-tone all over your canvas and then just have to lift it up, lift it off with a, um, a low piece of rag. Avoid to touch it with your hands so it might be a good idea to use latex gloves. And if you want to be, uh, to go more into details, you can fold it into a fine point and try being more precise. Of course, you can also use a little piece of, um, of paper towel like this. You can kind of fold it into a point, and that way you can you can have fun and draw with your uh, with your paint. So if you if you want, you can also take more paint and draw some lines and just I mean there's the the, the advantage of um, using a wash first is that if you want to draw lines uh, directly on a on a blank canvas it can work it's just that um, with this if you want to change things up like let's say, oh, this line is not good. Can you erase it and make another one? Whereas right here, if I want to erase it, um, it's going to be a lot more messy, as you can see. So what happens if you want to change things? Well, the good thing is you take your big brush again, uh, take hog bristle brushes there much better for this type of thing and they um, 
much more resistant because like it hurts the, the brushes a lot this type of thing like scrubbing like this and just just take a little bit just a little bit is enough really not a lot most people use way too much solvent don't you don't need that much just a little bit of solvent on the tip of your brush and you just wipe it off that's it and um, if you want to erase you're always going to have some type of, of color but who cares you're going to paint over it in the end so it's not really a big deal if you still have some color and you can work your drawing and and like do more of your drawing you can take a big brush if you want like start with large brushes and do your drawing just just have fun and um and if he if it doesn't work just uh, erase it and start over can okay, use smaller brushes you can do some shading just like you would with charcoal So if you want really something super accurate, it's probably not the best technique. If you want something more expressive, more that feels more painterly, that might be a good trick. Another good trick you can use is you can take a little piece of your kneaded eraser, just take a little, a little bit of it. Don't waste an entire thing for that. Just keep it for the oil and you can pick things up again. It, it works when it's a lot drier. So right here is not gonna work, it's too fluid. It works when it's, um, when it's a lot more dry. Let me try. It, it works only when it's dry, kind of dry. So right here is not working, it's too early for this, but you have to know that it works. I hope you appreciated this uh, this episode. If you like it, don't hesitate to subscribe. Uh, make sure that this little bell notification thing is on. And uh, if you want to see more videos, leave a like. And uh, I'll see you for the next one. As always, guys, have fun painting and have fun drawing. Bye.